Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. Here we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah. He is training this week. Yeah, I'm here for work. Uh, I, there's a very good chance I'll be here next week as well. So today is actually Labor Day. It is. And we're going to try to get some food here at the we're, mall. We're hungry. Yeah, yeah. We've been uh, flying all morning. Yeah. And here we are. Yep, we're in the Mall of America, if you didn't say that before. No, I didn't. And in the middle of the Mall of America, they have an, uh, a theme park. So it is open if people are on the rides. We're going to show you a little bit of that later. Yeah, this is the biggest mall in America. Yeah. Yeah, especially because it has a theme park in the middle of it. Right. But maybe I'm hungry. Yeah, let's eat first. We're here at Cowboy Jack's. This is where we decided to eat. For our appetizer, you have to get the Wisconsin cheese curds. Uh, this this neck of the woods, they're famous for their cheese. And these are actually a jalapeno cheese curds. So let's dip it in and try this out. Mm, perfect. You never had cheese curds. It's like white kind of cheese. It feels a little chewy. I wouldn't say rubbery, but it's got that nice bite texture to it. And with the with the jalapeno, deep fried, perfect. That's you have the cheese curd. Let's see if I can figure out the cheese. Let's see here. I got the cowboy barbecue bacon cheeseburger. Just cut it in half right now. Let's check this out. Oh. It's got their homemade barbecue sauce and bacon. The burger tastes like it came right off a char grill. It's awesome. Nice and hot temperature. The barbecue sauce is a little bit sweet and very smoky. This is a great burger right here. Nice and soft bun too. Look at that. This is a good one. You're gonna like this one, Gabe. pulled pork burger. You can see the really good chunks of pork in there and the barbecue sauce there as well. Looks really good. And Has some coleslaw in there. Right there on top, the coleslaw. Let's try this out. Mm. Good chunks of pork. Some barbecue sauce is a little bit on the sweet side and the coleslaw is a little bit on the sweet side. Really good tasting burger. Good thing we're splitting it. Good thing we're splitting up. Okay, a little wrap up of Cowboy Jacks. That was really good, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, Oh, no, I was going to say, there's so many restaurants here. There's like a Bubba Gump, Rainforest Cafe, yeah. Benihana's. A, it's a humongous mall. Yeah. And so we've we've come here before, and we really he was really in the mood for some cheese curds, <laughs> and we like their cheese curds here. Yeah. So we came here really for the cheese curds, which are really, really good. Yeah, just by chance, the uh, pulled pork sandwich and the barbecue burger were yeah. also excellent. Yeah, they were. Yeah. So we're going to go walk around, burn out some of this food, and show you a little bit of the theme park. Okay. And the mall. And the mall. Does this look familiar to you? It looks like just like the one on the screen. Other than a, other than a theme park in this 
small, they have a Sea Life Park too, which is right down there. Yeah, it's a separate mission, of course. Yeah. That's a little wrap for the Mall of America. We're going to be back all week because yeah. this is the, really the closest eating places next to our hotel. It is, it is. And so it's a pretty cool mall. Um, it is a humongous mall. Yeah. It's a three story, sometimes even four, uh, right. if you go on around the corner or so. Again, it has a theme park in it and it has a Sea Life Adventure Park in it. Right. Sea Life Adventure? Sea yeah, Life, Sea like Life that. Park. Yeah, Sea Life Park. Yeah. And it has a bunch of like gaming centers upstairs and everything. It's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, so we'll kind of shoot new stuff as we go yeah. along during the week and uh, show you what else we eat over here. But for now, we're going to go back to our hotel and we'll give you a little tour yeah. of it. Yep. Come on in. This is our room here at the Residence Inn at the Mall of America. So this is considered like a one bedroom queen suite. So, as you see, we have a semi-full kitchen, full-size refrigerator, not bad. We went a little shopping at Walmart, got some coffee creamer, some soda, and some water here. Oh yeah, and we got... Our ice cream. Yes. Yeah. We're prepared. And uh, check it out, we have a uh, coffee maker, dishwasher, microwave. We brought our noodles, see, in case oh, you yeah. get hungry. Of course. This is your uh, Asian uh, survival kit yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. uh, little two burner stove. Uh, nice little living area. Nice couch. Workstation. You see we already have our laptop already set up. Uh, dining table. We got junk on it already. And here's our uh, queen size bed. Check out the uh, bathroom here. It's not bad. Not a bad setup. And the uh, bathroom, it's a, just a tub shower combo, which a uh, which, which, uh, tea tree mm -hmm. from Paul Mitchell, so it's yeah. pretty good. And that's our, uh, that's our room here at the Residence Inn, Mall of America. Okay, good afternoon, this is day two. Hello. I just got out of class, so we mm -hmm. jumped in the car and went sightseeing. Mm -hmm. It's the first time I was out of the hotel. We came from over 100 degree weather and it's like 50s, like low 50s here. Oh yeah. I'm chi I'm chilly, baby, I'm cold. I have my jacket on. So I we know. are here at the, um, oh, the uh, Minnesota? Minneapolis, Sculpt Minneapolis Sculpture Garden. Yes, mm -hmm. and everyone has seen that little teaspoon yeah. with cherry on it. It has a name, but I forgot the name. And it's actually water coming out of yeah, it. Yeah, it is, and out of the stem. Yeah. And so it's pretty cool. There's hardly anybody out here, which I think because, you know, it's Tuesday, middle of the week. I hear that over the weekend, this place can get really busy. Mm -hmm. So it is Tuesday and we're going to go walk around and then we're yeah. going to catch a bite to eat somewhere. Give you a close up with a spoon. This is cool. This is like a wind chime tree, a wind chime tree, and you can hear it. What in the world is that supposed to be? It's art. Look it up. Okay. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's very big. And so it's really nice. It's not busy here at all. So no. we can take our time. Take our masks off. And take our masks yep. off. Sorry, babe. Take our mask off and walk around. And free parking right now. And you park on parking. the street. Yeah. Yeah. So we're lucky. So yeah. let's go eat now. Yeah, I'm hungry. starving. Let's go starving. eat somewhere. Maybe we're some, going to go. Maybe some beer. Okay. We made it to Sewer Library, mm -hmm. right? And uh, this we went here a long time ago. Yeah, so three years ago, maybe four years ago. Right? Yeah, this is like uh, I believe they have several locations, but this is like their main. Yeah. Okay. It is. So cheers! I have cheers. a uh, Oktoberfest. What you get? I have the warp That feels nice. Cheers. Cold beer and a cold day. I'm your daddy pizza. You can see the beautiful pieces 
of pepperoni on there. Yeah, super thin crust here. Mm -hmm. Really thin crust. And what else does it have on there, babe? Oh, sweet peppers and uh, honey or something like that. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. Mm, my up. Really good hot pizza. Oh, that's a kick to it. Must be the peppers. Be a good one. Super easy to eat. Look how thin that is. Hey, this is our appetizer. Yeah. With our beer. It is. It's good. Perfect with the beer. Here we go. My turn. <laughs> Good pepperoni. The sauce isn't tangy, but those peppers are coming through right away. Oh, the edge of the crust is nice and crispy. Wow. Good cheese. Oh yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cut the soft cold out here. We're gonna stop filming and slam this down before it gets too cold. But that was a good beer and app here at Surly Brewery. It is so good. Definitely support the local breweries, huh, baby? Oh, for sure, for support. sure. And by and chance. In Minnesota, where are you going to find this? I don't, I don't know where you to find this in anywhere else but Minnesota. So look what we found. A turkey. Yeah, just a roaming around. It's, it's actually a turkey. Okay, we made it back to the Mall of America for dinner. Yep, we're trying out Fire Lake Grill, Grill House. <laughs> yes, it's actually attached to the Radisson Blue Hotel. And it's attached to the mall. Okay, since we're here, we have to get the cheese curds one more time. These are beer battered. Looks much different than the ones we had yesterday. It's they really look, hot. And they look hot. Yeah. Two different kind of sauces. Trying this first one out. Mmm. Same kind of cheese curd chew. Like that rubbery feeling. In a which, good way. Yeah, you know, like I said, in a good way. But the beer batch is very thin. So it's nice and light and crispy. In the sauce. I'm not sure what kind it is. It's, the, it's like a kicked up ranch. It's really good. Here's my cheese curd. It's nice and warm. You can tell this batter is definitely like a tempera batter. Very thin batter. This is a kicked up ranch and a which one would it be? Uh, spicy ketchup, I think. Spicy ranch, right? Oh, smoked ketchup. Smoked ketchup. Yeah. Let's try the smoked ketchup one. Tastes like a ketchup beef butter barbecue sauce. Really good. It's a great good chew on this cheese curd. It is super light. The breading on it. Here's the cheese. Has that perfect cheesy goodness there. A little bit on the. You can taste a little bit of the salt. It just goes on and on. <laughs> I got the applewood smoked pork chop. Look at the glisten. And the reason why you see it glisten, it's got some honey drizz on it. And what's cool is it's from the honey that's on the rooftop of this hotel. I guess they have a, a beekeeper honey gathering setup. So this, this is it. They got the honey from the roof onto my pork chop. Here it is. It has that amazing on the grill charcoal flavor to it. You can tell a little bit of sweetness from the top. Wow. Look at that perfect. That perfect color on that pork chop. Along with some cauliflower mashed and kale. Pretty good dinner. Okay. What I got was the herb crested walleye. Walleye is what you have to have when you're here in Minnesota with the wild rice, Minnesota wild rice. Grilled asparagus and a lemon tarragon remoulade. Good hearty fish, as you can tell. You want a bite? It's gonna be good. 
Mm. Very good fishy flavor. No, fishy in a good way, not too fishy. That corn crusted, very light. Here's the wild rice. You can see the pieces of celery in that wild rice. It's a little bit sweet in there too. I think it's like cranberries. Cranberries as well. Mm -hmm. Has that crunch of the celery, has a little bit sweetness of the cranberries. When you come to Minnesota, I remember getting the cheese curds, the wild, walleye, and the wild rice. This is the dish you have to get when you come to Minnesota. Mm, so good. Okay, that was a really good dinner at Fire Lake. A really good dinner. Yeah, if you guys ever come to the Mall of America, hit up this restaurant at the Radisson Blue. Mm -hmm. Get the pork chops. You will not regret it. It's so good. Yeah, really and their good. fish, you like it too. Uh, yeah, walleye is always a very good dish. Hey, anyway, sorry we got cut off, but uh, we do have dessert, our ice cream bars inside the freezer. And we have one more day here. We think one more day, maybe two. We'll see what happens. Probably one. Okay, maybe one more. Class is over. Yep, so I came over here earlier today and I did my walking. So I walked every single floor. It was only three floors here, but it's a humongous mall. And look what we came upon right there. Yeah, there's a Carlos bake shop here just like Vegas. Same way as Vegas. Yeah, so uh, you already picked some um, lobster, lobster tails. tails and what else? And, and I took cannoli. Them home and, I had cannoli. And, they're, yeah. and they're back at the hotel. Yeah, so we're going to eat that tonight for yeah. dessert. But dinner, we're not really sure yet. We're going to walk the mall and see what's up. Mm -hmm. But he's going to show you. Let's see if it's the same thing that is in Vegas. It is. It is the same one. So we walked over to Cantina, what? Laredo. Cantina Laredo, mm -hmm. which is just right down next the walkway. To, yeah, right next to Bubba, Gump. Bubba Gump's. Yes. And when we sat down, the first thing they gave us were chips. And you can see their yummy chips. Here's their roasted salsa, which looks really good. Try it out there. The chips are very fresh. The salsa. And it has a it's a cold salsa. And it has a little bit of a kick to it. I can feel the kick coming up. Good roasted peppers in there. And really good roasted tomato. But we did get two things from the happy hour menu which is the the queso and the guacamole guacamole yeah and the fajitas look you how know, big which is three tacos yeah look how big these pieces of meat are yeah it's amazing and one regular entree and one regular entree which is only ten dollars it's not very expensive at all and it's the two fajita plate and it has ground beef in a fajita uh, king, um enchiladas two enchilada plate and it has ground beef in the enchiladas. So this is their special guacamole. It's in their little tostada shell. Look at that. Try this out. Good. Nice and fresh. Try this queso out. Mm. Nice and cheesy. I'm gonna have to go for a special combination. A little guac and queso. There we go. That's it, baby. That's the way to do it. That looks really good in there. Can you see the meat in there? It's really good. Is that ground beef or is it mm -hmm. like my fajitas beef? No, it's ground beef. Oh. Ground sirloin. Um, 
the tortilla has a perfect chew to it. You can tell it doesn't crumble or fall apart. Meat, this meat, it's very well seasoned. And this enchilada is packed with meat. Very good tasting, very clean tasting. Good sauce on there. Not much heat, just a tiny kick of heat. Mm. It's a really good meal. A little wrap up of uh, Cantina Laredo. That was really, really good. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. We've been to the Mall of America several times. We yeah. always, we always walk by this place. We do. We mm -hmm. never tried it. And it was excellent. The prices are very good, especially on the happy hour menu. But even on the regular menu, like my enchiladas were on the regular menu, and it was only like ten bucks. It yeah. Was really inexpensive, and they're That's very good deal. enchiladas. Yeah. Uh, this was the cheapest dinner at uh, MSB so far. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Yeah, so now we're gonna walk around a little bit mm -hmm. and possibly call it a night. I got one more year class to. Yeah, we do, babe. Yep, made my first boot barn purchase. Yeah. A shoehorn. He's <laughs> so happy. We've been looking for that shoehorn for months. Yeah, I, yeah. I did try on a, a hat. You uh, did. What's it called? A Stetson? A Stetson. Stetson? Mm -hmm. Which I'll show you right now. So, yeah. She thinks I look pretty cool in it. She like you look good in it. I think she just likes cowboys. I do. Good afternoon. Hi. Class is over. Yes. Party time. Party time. So uh, we're in yeah. St. Paul. St. Paul. Mm -hmm. And we are at, what is it, Red, Red Cow? Red Cow. Red Cow. Yeah. Now you found this on Yelp. Yeah. It, it was very highly uh, recommended on Yelp. Uh, they're known for their onion dip and chips so we're gonna get some of that and then we're gonna get some meal yeah uh, it's, uh, some meal yeah, some it, food it's lunchtime and i'm starving let's mm -hmm. eat okay i got the grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup my grilled cheese sandwich has gruyere oh i forgot the other cheeses but it has three cheeses in there and barbecue chips you see those barbecue chips in there? Oh, and it matches really well with this tomato soup. Mmm. Outside is perfectly cooked. Fruit crunch. Now, if you followed my eating adventures for a while now, you know that I'm a sucker for a good patty belt. So when I saw it on the menu, I had to get it. Here it is. Wow. Look at that cheesy goodness. Grilled onions, uh, caramelized onions, and the uh, patty I asked for a medium well. So here we go. One bite, I could tell you is one of the one of the best patty ones I had. What? The bread is it's nice and toasty, but it's not hardly, it's not a hard toasted where it scratches the roof of your mouth or anything. Excellent taste on the caramelized onion, the cheese. Did you see it's got like, I don't know, two different kind of cheeses or something? Wow, just excellent. It's like a marble dry. Everybody's ready? Ready? That's what we're waiting for. Yep. Mm. The mixture of the cheese and the barbecue chips are perfect in the sandwich. Must have. That was an awesome lunch at Red Cow. That was really good. I'm not a big patty melt pers uh, person, but I think it was like the best patty melt I've ever tried. It was. It was. It was, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I loved it. It was. Yeah. Uh, you have some. Oh yeah, I'm gonna. I want to thank everyone who's given us our YouTube Minneapolis family here, who's given us all the suggestions. And we have. I don't think we've hit many up this trip. Maybe next week when we're here, we shall see. It is Greg, Lucas, Lynn, Kelly, and Jeffrey. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see some of you guys even next week. You never know. Uh, yeah, know. people are saying next week. Yeah. Yes, to come back yeah, here for training. I'm for coming one back more week. next week again for one more week. Yeah. yeah. Gotta love it. So much fun, babe. Yep. So now we're gonna go uh, walk around, walk off this food. We have somewhere to go to, some and park. And get some brews. Yeah. All right. Let's check it out.
So just a quick mile and a half drive from Red Cow. We're at the Penix Gang. Penix. Penix. <laughs> Peanuts Gang Statue Park. <laughs> yes. I don't think that's the official name of the park, but this is where they have statue bronze statues of mm -hmm. the Peanuts Gang. I found two of them, but we're gonna go look for the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Check it. Check it out. Yeah, so that was a quick tour of, um, was it Rice, Rice Park? Park. Rice yeah, Park. Rice Park. Mm -hmm. And there's a tiny little park just catty corner across the street. That's where some of the other statu uh, peanut statues were. Yeah, it's such a beautiful day today. Yeah. It's nice out here. There's a lot of like outdoor classes going on right now just all throughout the park. Yeah, Pretty like cool. uh, like kids, right? Yeah, Teenagers. instructing each other, helping each other out and stuff like that. Yep, so now we're done with the peanuts. Now it's time for beers. Beer. Okay, we made it to Wabasha Brewing. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Lucas's uh, recommendation. Yes, thanks for, for the recommendation. The he told me they had a holy smoke, with his, which is a maple bacon beer. And so I'm here, Lucas. I got to try it. And I got the lockdown lager, which is like a pineapple and melon with a bit of honey in mm -hmm. it. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. I taste it. I can taste the, the maple honey. You want some eggs with that? Very hint, slight hint of bacon. Mm, it smells delicious though. You can smell the bacon. You can. You it's can. It's weird. You can You can smell it, but you can't taste it. it but smells it's like really a, good. Smells like bacon grease. Yummy bacon grease, babe. Yeah. Cheers to Cheers. that. Your beer is all done, so it's time to wrap things up here from Minneapolis, St. Paul. Mm -hmm. What a what a week! What a, what a good week! And then next week we have other things planned, haven't we? Yes. After your schooling, we'll see how long his schooling takes. It's like random time-wise, and so we'll see what we can do and not do. Yes, we we are, we are here for one more week next yeah. week. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the weather's going to be a lot warmer. It is. It's going to yeah. be like seventy-five the whole week. Yeah. This it's week really was good. was frigid. And I, it was I almost rainy. got I almost got frostbites. I know he has to take his weather jacket. I mean, he gets cold. So. I had my Columbia and I was still freezing. <laughs> anyway, we have some shout outs. We do, we do. Um, Gary, it's in the UK. Happy birthday, Claire. Uh, Peter and Jasmine's anniversary. Uh, your son Oscar reached out to us yes. and said it was your anniversary. So happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Uh, Jonah and Joss, you like when Bill says, Not too sweet. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ancient in the UK, happy birthday. Uh, Haley and Colin. Um, your son Josh, thank you so much for reaching out to us. Yes. The McKelvey family from Sydney, Australia. Wow. Um, your four kids, Danny, Ben, Hannah, and Ryan. Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, Michael is from Cleveland and his husband, Michael's birthday. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. And um, Gilbert, happy birthday to you. Your wife, uh, Michelle, reached out to us. Yes, wish she you did. A happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun, babe. Yes, yes. All uh, these September babies. That's Did right. you guys know my both of my babies are September? My baby Nico is turning twenty one. Oh. Yeah. My baby. Now he can finally party with us. <laughs> yeah, he's been waiting. He's been waiting to party with us. So yeah. he can finally party with us. All right. That's it. Well, that's baby. it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks everybody for watching our week here in MSP. We had some great food and we did. froze our butts off outside. And we did. And thank you again yes. for all of our Minnesota family here mm -hmm. and give us all the recommendations. Our that's right. Minnesota YouTube family. I right. appreciate it. Until then, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Now we're at Don Poncho's <laughs> Bakery, which is a that's a panaderia. So we're gonna go check out some pastries we always love these pastries don poncho's bakery yes <laughs> let's go inside baby what's that
You know we gotta go for a taste test right away. I got my concha. How much, were, how much were these? Uh, 275 for the, we got three. We also got a cookie too. Okay, so. yeah, not bad. Cheers. Mmm, mm. nice and soft, fluffy, really airy. Mm-hmm. It's good. What is that, the butterfly? Mm-hmm. Buttery. You, you picked a real crispy one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, yummy. Yeah, these are very good. Here in St. Paul, stop mm -hmm. at Don Anchos. <laughs>